everyone, this is Brian Moore from PM Square coming at you with another planning analytics tutorial. If you like what you see, be sure and connect with me over on LinkedIn where my URL is brianpm2. Happy to connect with you and answer any further questions you might have. In addition, feel free to like and subscribe us on YouTube. That's youtube.com forward slash PM Square. All right, getting into today's lesson, we are going to take a look at synchronizing parameters for action buttons to run our TI processes. So it's a new feature in PAW 62 that uh, hopefully allows more of our TM1 web customers to make the transition over to PAW. I know this was uh, a last remaining requirement for a lot of folks, the ability to embed their web sheets and have some of that web sheet content drive the TI processes. So we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate how we can do that now with PAW 62. So jumping onto our canvas, I have a lot of pre-built content already. As we can see here in the upper left pane, I have my web sheet. And on the upper right pane, I have a TI process, not required to have it in there, but just for display purposes. Uh, so you guys can follow along with what I'm doing here. And then the bottom left and right panes are some cube views to show the data that we're going through. All right, so first thing we gotta do is pluck out our action button from the widget um, slide out bar. I'm going to click on the button and we'll tuck that away. And we've got our button up here right where I want it. I'll go ahead and pull that a little wider. Get plenty of room. And I'm going to rename that to copy version. Okay. And next thing, I want to make sure that my web sheet is uh, synchronized because when we select uh, to synchronize the parameters of the TI process, we wanna make sure that it picks out whatever uh, version is selected within our web sheet. So highlighting that widget, I go ahead and turn on properties for the web sheet and we'll select the synchronize feature and make sure that that is synchronizing the version dimension. I'll turn off all the other ones. Okay, so that's all set to go. And we'll tuck that away. Next, I'm gonna switch from the budget version to the test version, because that is the version that I want to copy data to. And so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the drop down for the version. Scroll to the bottom where I have test. And I have all zeros. And so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put in the commands for my copy version button drive that uh, action button and tell it to run a process. So in the properties over on run process, I'll turn that on, select my database, and we'll select the process of copy version, and I'll have it refresh after it executes. Lastly, we'll go to the set parameters uh, dialog box, and I'm gonna turn off the prompt for the first and the third parameters in there. And so that's just going to take the default. So it's going to take the budget as the copy from version. And it's going to take the revenue cube as the cube to copy. And for forecast, I'm going to switch that from text input. Uh, we'll turn off the prompt as well. And I'll change that from text input to synchronize. And then I need to select what dimension I'm synchronizing on. So we'll select version. A hierarchy, if you have multiple hierarchies, this dimension does not. And then I'm all set to go. So we see that uh, it grays out and it is selecting test based on the current synchronization of the web sheet. Save that. And at that point, we're all set to go. So in order to run that process, or run the button, I will uh, suppress my properties window. and I will turn off the edit mode. And so now I am all set to go. And let's go ahead and click that copy version button. And I can see it's running and completed and it's refreshing as ordered. And we see that data pop right in there for the test version. So my web sheet is now populated uh, at the Massachusetts organizational level, um, the channel total. If I go to the cube views at the bottom, I get a better 
an idea of what happened and that the budget data for all products got copied over to the test version. If I wanted to flip the test version over to the uh, budget version two, we can run it again just for kicks, see all those zeros, and when we run the button, process runs, copies budget data over to budget V2. We see that in both the upper left pane as well as the summary totals in the lower right pane. And so that is our demonstration for synchronizing uh, parameters for action buttons. And I hope you all find that useful and you're able to uh, use that to transition over to uh, PAW if you haven't done so already. Feel free to reach out to PM Square with any assistance or any questions you may have on that. And again, like, us, like and subscribe us on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash PM Square. Hope to see you guys next time. Thanks.